the old city of Jerusalem, just a stone's throw from the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. Now usually around here it's swarming with tourists, but today it's actually quite quiet. That's because of the impact of the Gaza wars had on the tourism industry. Now we've come here to Jerusalem to speak to businesses and see how they're coping with the downturn. <laughs> so looking at, at, at the last two months, maybe July, August, September, how big an impact will it have on your business itself? Are you making enough money or um, do you need help, help with when this kind of thing happens? Actually, um, it was in two, three months ago, it was really a uh, slow business and uh, maybe because the uh, little troubles happens before like two, three months. And we wish to be better in this uh, future, you know, in the, still this year. Um, but no, actually, it was the really slow business in these uh, two, three months ago. We don't have, we don't have business in the old city. Why we don't have? Because the situation, you know, everywhere it's very bad. You understand? And how long? How long do you think it will take? for tourists to come back and, and people to start making money in the souk? Believe me, I don't know. We don't know. Maybe a month, two months, three months. I hope, I hope so. We hope. We have three, four months finish. No, no business. Business, no business, no business. Zero. The business, it's very bad, very bad. And um, see, my friend, my neighbor, my neighbor, he is six day only sell 50 shekel for six day. You know six day, 50 shekel? It's nothing. He need for every day, he need more than 100 shekel for family, for daughters, for uh, kids. Uh, you understand me? So Aura, you've been a tour guide in Israel for 20 years now. How would you describe um, what's going on in, in, in the country today and Jerusalem where we are right now? Uh, tourism wise. Well, it's very, very quiet. You can't even imagine how quiet it is. Because in a time like this, people were surrounding you, walking, talking, shouting, shopping. You choose. And, uh, and now you can look around, nothing, right? One people here, small group there, almost nothing. And it's all due to the political problem that we had last month and also to the aftershock, let's say, because here it's now completely safe, completely quiet, compl wonderful. For a tourist to come now, if you ask me, it's the best time, because Jerusalem is here all just for you and very, very safe. But to compare with regular times, nothing to compare.